coming to paperback and e-readers this Black Friday. E-Steam Ascension, the generous team of is a turning point in our life in this powerful E-Steam series story. With E-Steam Ascension and online posters this Black Friday. Most comic book writers these days are focused on trying to write the next big epic. They're usually focused on trying to write the next Dark Knight Returns, the next Phoenix Saga, the next Watchmen, the next Crisis of Infinite Earths, or the next Infinity Gauntlet. Me, on the other hand, I'm applying a different approach to my storytelling and my story model. And I believe that it's time to get back to basics as it relates to fantasy storytelling and comic book storytelling, especially comic book storytelling as related to superheroes. One of the reasons I believe that the comic book industry is in the slump that it's in right now is because the stories are almost impossible to follow. And when it comes down to comic book storytelling these days, everything is like the writers are trying to write, again, the next big epic or the next great American novel. And they see comics as a chapter in a novel, and that's why we get these long, drawn-out story arcs like your DC Rebirth, which is taking two years, and the jumbled mess that's at Marvel right now. And this is what's leading to sales being impeded at both of the big two, these long, drawn-out storylines that go on for years and years, because this is the type of storytelling that makes it impossible for the new reader to access the characters, and to access the stories, because they're telling the reader when they can jump on and off, and, and when it comes down to the business of comics and publishing, you can't tell the reader when they want, when they should come in, the reader comes in when they want to come in, and that's why I say it's time to get to a more back-to-basics approach to storytelling, and what is a back-to-basics approach to storytelling? Telling stories that tell stories about superheroes taking on people like bank robbers, telling stories featuring superheroes taking on people like muggers, telling stories about superheroes taking on people like stick-up kids. These are the kind of stories that bring superheroes down to earth, make them relatable, and then show us their place in the community. And from a story model perspective, this is the kind of story that is an entry point for new readers and allows them to see the character in action in a way that is relatable to a new reader. Moreover, it allows you to explain the character, explain the character's mission, and explain what the purpose of the character is as related to their role in the community. Because superheroes, as I see it, are like community volunteers. They're there to help out people in the community. And there's been too much of a focus, as I see it, on these big events where they're talking about saving the world instead of trying to do things more on a local level. Now, I've been experimenting with this type of story model for the last couple of Isis and E-Steam series books, the ones I put out this year. One of the books I put out Isis Samurai Goddess featured Isis taking on some kung fu killers to help a college student who was having trouble with the with these with these kung fu killers who were hired at, because this corporate boss wanted to get an invention she had. I call this a this a basic simple story that really just gets the reader in, lets them see the character in action, and then lets them know the mission and what their purpose is. The other the other story that I did this year which featured a more simplified story model, was a story, E-Steam, Little Girl Lost. And in this story, the E-Steam character helps a lost little girl find her way home, home. And this was another basic story featuring the character in action, taking on bad guys, and then resolving it at the end of the story where, the, where she helps the little girl find her parents and find her way home. Basic, simple storytelling showing heroes in the community helping out people in the community. And I really would like to see comic books, and especially superhero comics, go back to this type of storytelling, because this is the kind of storytelling that I believe will get readers interested in buying comics again. Right now, I feel that comics are too convoluted. The stories are focused on epic sagas, and a lot of the characters are in vacuums where they're only focused on themselves, 
and they're not focused on protecting the community. And because they're not focused on protecting the community, the readers don't see themselves as having a role in the story or the hero's role in protecting them. So they're not seeing the relationship between the superheroes and the community. They're not seeing that connection because everybody is still tied up in a long, drawn-out saga like a rebirth or like we had Secret Wars a couple of years ago, and they're not seeing themselves in the story. That's why I say we have to get back to a more simplified story model where we're seeing comics and doing, you know, two, three issue arcs where we see superheroes interacting with people and improving the quality of their lives. Now, I've been experimenting with doing more simplified storylines with superheroes in the community, and I've had really strong success with it. Little Girl Lost was a big hit on Smashwords, and Samurai Goddess has gotten nothing but positive reviews. And this was building on something that I saw about three, four years ago when I did st E-Steam story, No Good Deed. Now, the No Good Deed story was a little short short that I did just to test the waters and see if there was some sort of audience for the E-Steam character. And this was, again, a basic story with E-Steam taking on some hood rats who decided they wanted to stick up a store on Madison Avenue. And when I did that one story, I was surprised to see it got 3,000 downloads. I mean, it was a shock to me because I put the story up there and I wasn't expecting it to do anything, but it showed me that there is an audience for that type of simple, basic storytelling and that the simple, basic storytelling just featuring heroes taking on villains and taking on local criminals is there and that the audience wants to see more of this kind of story. Unfortunately, too many comic book writers are caught up in a bubble trying to give them the next big saga because they want to write the next Crisis of Infinite Earths, the next Infinity Gauntlet, when they should be trying to write a simple story that gets the reader in. And simple stories allow the reader to have the entry point to come in and get to know the character, get to know the character's mission, and gives them a reason to care about the character because they see that the character cares about them. This is all about forming a relationship with the reader, and this is one of the reasons why I think that comics need to get back to simplified, more basic storytelling and focus on the basics before we start focusing on advanced kind of stories like these big drawn-out sagas, because these big drawn-out sagas are one of the reasons why comics are having a hard time selling to the reader, because the reader does not see the role of a superhero in their lives. All they see are superheroes going out and having adventures by themselves, but they're not bringing the reader into the story and allowing them to have participate in the action. With Samurai Goddess and Little Girl Lost, I decided to create, you know, people who were in the story so that you could see that the Isis character interacts with regular people and the East Team character interacts with regular people. And because they interact with regular people, they form a relationship with the reader and the reader sees that the role of this hero in everything. That's very important to a story. It's letting people see that the heroes are not just fighting the bad guys for the sake of fighting bad guys, but they're fighting for them and they're fighting to protect them and to support them in whatever they want to do. And I'm still working on this approach because, again, I see a, a value in going back to the basics and telling these type of stories because I, I see all these kids out here who watch these superhero movies and they want to see these characters not just taking on the, the top tier villains, but they want to see them taking on uh, smaller, more local bad guys, people in their community who are terrorizing it. And they want to see that there's a sense of them protecting them from these types of criminals. You can pick up Isis Samurai Goddess and East Team Little Girl Lost on Amazon.com by clicking the links in the description box. And you can try other Isis and East Team stories by clicking those same links to Amazon.com as well. 
That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.